Activision has announced that Black Ops 7 will now require TPM 2.0 and secure boot functionality enabled on your PC in order for you to play it. The reason for this change is to increase the security of the Ricochet anti-cheat, making it harder for cheaters to run their software whilst Call of Duty is running on the PC. So I'm going to show you as best I can how to enable these two settings. Now in order for you to use Windows 11 you'll need TPM 2.0 enabled already, so if you have Windows 11 on your PC then you should have that on by default. Secure boot is a little bit more tricky but a similar process to turn on and shouldn't be a problem for you. You'll need to go into your computer's BIOS so I'll walk you through it. First you'll need to search for the advanced startup in the search bar and open up that page within Windows. It should look something like this and is under the system and recovery section so you should be able to see a window like this with the option to go into advanced startup and restart your PC right now. What that's going to do is take you into Windows recovery. Now you'll need to follow these steps and bear with me here because I couldn't screen record it so I had to take photos on my phone instead. So say hi to me in the background. So first select troubleshooting and then advanced options and UEFI firmware settings and then click the button to restart now. What that's going to do is restart your computer again and put you into your computer's BIOS. Now it's worth me mentioning here that I'm not exactly a computer know-it-all. I know enough to get by so be very careful changing these settings because one incorrect change could cause you a lot of issues here. As I say, be very careful and you have been warned. So once you're in your computer's BIOS, which will be different depending on the motherboard that you have in your computer, you'll need to go to the following place. If this doesn't match up with your system, then check your manufacturer's guide on how to change this, as some companies may configure stuff slightly differently. For me, I needed to go to settings, security, and then trusted computing, and then look for TPM state, and change it to on or enabled. Now, I would recommend pressing your escape key to go back to the main menu and then selecting the save and exit option to save your PC's changes for TPM first. Once it's saved and your computer has restarted, you should look at going through the process again to enable secure boot this time. Once you're back in the BIOS, you'll need to then go to settings, advanced, Windows OS configuration and then secure boot. Now for most people it should be as easy as just setting secure boot to on or enabled, but I had some trouble with this where I couldn't enable it straight away. What I needed to do was change the secure boot mode to custom first and then enable secure boot and save my changes. Then I needed to do the whole restart process again to get back to the BIOS and then change the boot method to standard and then save that setting. Once I had secure boot enabled in standard mode my computer was done and ready to play. I tested this with the Battlefield 6 beta which required TPM 2.0 and secure boot enabled and I had no problems whatsoever, so in theory, once you've done this, you should be good to go. So once again, it's worth noting that these settings will be required for all PC players in order to play Black Ops 7, and I imagine these changes will also affect Warzone as well, so I would make sure that you're able to get this done so you don't have problems closer to the launch for future Call of Duty games. Let me know in the comments if you need any help, I will try and do my best but once again know that I won't be able to fix everything as I had to kind of wing it myself. Anyway thank you for watching and a big thank you to all of my channel members for your continued support to the channel, it really does mean a lot to me. And of course please like the video if it helped you and subscribe if you're new around here and I'll catch you all in the next one. Goodbye!